I'm just going to quickly pop in on my phone um, and just say hello and how are you all. But more importantly, check in about the post that I've just shared about sending collective healing and prayers to Australia and Africa and tuning into what it is we're all feeling. Um, today I've passed several people that have brought up the conversation of feeling really down at the moment and I'm not quite aware of everything that's been going on in the news and I don't it's going to sound like I'm putting my head in the sand but I don't need to be aware I can feel that there's something big going on and I can feel I woke this morning at like half past four five o'clock like something had just knocked my root chakra which is already going through immense energy at the moment along with my sacral which is why I look so pale, um, massive, massive shedding going on at the moment. But this morning it felt quite big and it felt <clears throat> quite fearful into my solar plexus. And like I said, I've bumped into a few people today that are really feeling this and without judgment, adding to this. And that makes me really quite emotional and that's what it feels like I'm picking up behind it, the emotions, the understandable emotions, the the anger, the fear, the, the upset. It feels really emotional. It feels like a big tsunami of water waiting to come, which is ironic because the other side of us is Australia and Africa desperate for water absolutely desperate for water with these almost like creative fires destroying everything so this morning with my own healing I went into it and I have found that the last few days I have just been surrendering to waves of tears not tears from sadness as such because that's just a label just emotions just free-flowing emotions and personally I find things like cacao really helps and meditating and just being out in nature just really helps to shift that energy but the biggest thing that I find is to realize that it's there without trying to cover it up without trying to block it or ignore it so <laughs> this morning I, yeah you can see I mean I, I look just I look like I'm being stripped which I am so this morning I was in Tesco's and I was trying to find some more cacao. It was too early for places like Holland and Barrett and things. And I was pacing up and down the aisle and I couldn't find it. And I must have looked as rough as I do now because several people came to help. And next thing I know, I had about five or six people from Tesco's trying to help me find this cacao. And, well, they were a godsend because it is literally all I can stomach at the moment, that and water. It just feels like I'm opening my heart, flushing it out. Opening my heart, flushing it out. So they found this cacao for me. And they, I don't think they would have gone to the effort that they wonderfully did if I hadn't looked so rough. If I hadn't looked like I needed it. So for me, there was a real clear message there to own how we feel. To just display it. To just express it. How we feel but also to realise it's our feelings and to look at what we're actually adding to the bigger the bigger pot, if you like. To look at our feelings and have responsibility for them. We might not know why we're feeling a certain way, but we just are. And to just be with that and hold space for that with no judgement. The other thing I was going to mention today is ever since Jan, well, ever since January, we are January, but the beginning of January, I've had this real, not block, but they're not being something quite right for me when it comes to resolutions, uh, when it comes to what it is I want to manifest this year. And last night, over and over in my head, I kept hearing the phrase, it's not what your country can do, but what you can do for your country. And I might write something about that. I might just share it here and be done with it. But it felt very much, you know, the obvious that the land doesn't belong to us. It's not here to manifest solely for us. It's an ecosystem. We are part of that ecosystem and it's for the highest good. So it's whatever the earth needs as well. It's not all about what we want. Oh, and I can really feel a fire coming up with that. So I'm aware of it and I'll just breathe through it. So 
for me, this block that I have brought up a few things. First and foremost, it's okay to be in a place of peace and gratitude and not have to add to that. It's almost like I've eaten a roast dinner and I don't need to add more to that. And when I do decide to eat again, physically and and metaphorically because all I can drink right now is cacao when I do decide to eat again it's going to be things that are good for me that nurture my soul but also things that are needed on a bigger level so I, I may I was going to say I will but I may look at manifesting today and the way that I will do it rather than write down a list of things that I want I'm going to ask what is wanted of me, what is needed of me right now. And that feels so emotional for the next year. And to look at where I am now and where I am needed to be and ask for the things, the bridge that is needed to get me from here to there. Because that's what I need to manifest right now. So for argument's sake, if one, if the universe wanted me to be in perfect health, which it does, obviously, of course it does, and I was still smoking, one of the things I would look at is that. Now I'm not, so that might go on to a deeper level, more exercise or, or whatever. I don't know until I have a look. So there's many ways, how long am I going on for? Six minutes now. There's many ways I can decide to do that and I might do it with the tarot. I might just sit with it and go through each month and think, right, you know, what is needed of me or go for a walk. Now, there are many ways for us to ask the universe what is needed. Many signs. And you don't need diplomas and books and deep understandings to know what they mean to you, what's relevant to you. But just to be in a place of peace, just to be in a place of no thoughts and connected to your body, connected to what you're feeling. So for argument's sake, you might ask, what do you need of me of January? For argument's sake. And an eagle or kestrel might fly out in front of you. Now that could be take a higher perspective in January. You can then look at where you are now, caught up in drama of other people's possibly. How can I step back from that? What do I need to manifest in order to take this higher perspective? Now, that's an example that I would use, but obviously that can be different for everybody. So you could use the tarot cards um, and what each one might mean for you and how to get there. So the universe could want a cup for you, which is emotions and it, you might at the moment be in a place where you're all in your mind. So what do you need to manifest to bridge that gap? If you are the ecosystem and this is being asked of you and you are not in alignment with that, what do you need to manifest in order to be alignment with the ecosystem, with the universe, with your higher self? Feels really important to take it up a notch, not just oh, I would like this this year, I would like that this year. What is needed of me? Because ultimately that will come from your higher self, that will come from the earth anyway, that will come from your greater good. But almost changing it and asking that question first. So, yeah, two things today. Oh, I'm hearing three things. Look after our men. Okay, it's really coming up. I know it's an emperor year, um, but it's really coming up at the moment. I'm seeing a lot of men um, who are feeling this. They are feeling this just as much as we are, just as much as we women are. And this year is the emperor. And we've assumed that it's about the fiery masculine. And that's the old patriarchy. Maybe it's about the more emotional side of the masculine as well. Ours and our own men. Okay, so just keep an eye out for them. Give them space to talk. Hold them if they need to be held. And just be there for them. Because there's an awful lot shifting. Which I'll, I might write about more. But it's more just being aware. Okay, being aware of the masculine. 
and all the old wounds that are coming up and when they come up in the collective they will come up for the individual as well be aware of that so looking out for our masculine within and around us manifesting from a point of service and feeling what you're feeling and being responsible for it and doing what you need to do in order to keep finding that place of peace okay use what you're doing as something constructive we're all magicians if you're feeling something do something constructive with it okay mine will be crying which might not feel very constructive but releasing it I'm then not taking it out on people around me it's not coming out through my feet as I walk I'm owning what I'm feeling and I'm releasing it so find the time for you for your masculines and for what is needed of you have a wonderful day Take care. Bye.